A worker for the Washington State Department of Transportation noticed something moving on one of their cameras. As they zoomed in, they said they could see what appeared to be a large human walking next to one of the trees, saying that it was much larger than a standard human. They then put out a post on social media, asking if any hikers had seen anything in the area and requested that people be on the lookout. The Washington State Department of Transportation said that it's not a cardboard cutout and it hasn't been photoshopped. The worker said that they've never been up to the camera and that it's an area that doesn't often get visited by hikers. Some suggested that the photographs show a real humanoid creature, while others said that it could be the outline of a tree that's causing an illusion. However, the worker said this wasn't the case. As of right now, whatever this thing was moved on, as there was no other update from the Washington State Department of Transportation. Oddly enough, this isn't the first time that workers have encountered mysterious humanoids and go on to detail that every so often one of these creatures will show up, leaving those who see it confused. All across North America are reported sightings of the Sasquatch creature, a massive bipedal humanoid giant covered in hair from head to toe and commonly encountered within or nearby the untamed woods and landscapes found all across the United States and Canada. Oddly enough, not every state or local area across North America refers to the creature as Sasquatch. More commonly, local legends will feature similar descriptions of the creature, but with slight variations in its design alongside differing names. One of the most interesting sightings features a Floridian creature known as the Skunk Ape, a legendary giant native to the wetlands and swampy state parks, with reports going back several centuries. Located on the border of the state of Florida and Georgia is a 438-acre swampland that stretches across the state borders and houses a wide variety of undiscovered animal and insect species. This peat-filled wetland, referred to as the Okafenoki Swamp, has been at the center of several encounters with the skunk ape creature and is often believed to be the last unexplored refuge of the creatures in the modern day. Even more interesting, the name Okafenoki is a native Creek Indian word that roughly translates to mean the land of the trembling earth and seems to reference a massive creature that's known for shaking the earth as it walks. The oldest known skunk ape encounter to have occurred within the Okafenoki swamp was reported back during the winter of 1828. According to the report made by two eyewitnesses, both of which were amateur hunters who were looking to explore the surrounding area, the two men came across what they referred to as a giant. Originally, their expedition began as a short hunting party, but rather than turn back at the height of their excitement, the two men's trip continued for another several weeks as they traveled deeper into the swamp, recording brief encounters with bears, panthers, alligators, and overgrown snakes. Roughly three weeks into their hunting trip, the men claimed to have heard the sound of loud screaming. However, the screams sounded much deeper and louder than a man could naturally produce. As they glanced around the woods surrounding their camp to investigate the source of the noise, the men then heard what they described as the sound of heavy stomping, as if a large creature was running through the woods surrounding their camp. Unsure of whether or not the creature was a large wild animal or a distressed man, the two hunters decided to light a fire and stay within the proximity of their makeshift camp until daylight, as the day was soon ending and darkness was fast approaching. Despite the roaring fire to help keep the nearby woods illuminated, the men complained that they were unable to sleep due to the strange sounds they continued to hear, despite no creature being visible anywhere near their location. Additionally, it became necessary to gather nearby scraps of wood to keep the fire burning, and so the men were forced to venture slightly more and more into the surrounding darkness to maintain their light source. By the next morning, the men investigated the nearby woods and wetlands, hoping to find any evidence of a creature having prowled their camp the night prior. After a few hours of looking, the men claimed that they came across several barefoot human-looking footprints that would have been impossible for any normal person to have made mostly due to the fact that the footprints were all spaced roughly six feet apart and were an estimated 18 inches in length. Worried that the creature might return, the hunters immediately fled the swamp and returned to town. Oddly enough, the story of the encounter with the unknown swamp giant does not end there. Once the two hunters returned to the closest town, they told the nearby townspeople of what they had encountered 
and warned them that a monster might soon attack the town. Fearful of the beast, the town gathered together a hunting party of nine men to hunt down the beast and take it out before it could attack the town. Gathered together, the men went into the swamp and traveled as far down as its southernmost part, now located in the state of Florida. After several days of searching the area, the men located sets of footprints far too large for any normal man to have created and used the footprints as a trail guiding them directly to the giant. As the men began following the footprints, they noticed that they were often spaced increasingly further apart, sometimes disappearing completely and reappearing elsewhere in the swamps, as if the creature climbed and jumped between trees for travelling. Before long, the trail was completely lost, and the nine men decided to make camp for the night and begin their search again at daybreak. Unfortunately for the band of men, during the night, the creature would invade the camp and attack the hunters in a fit of rage. According to the nine witnesses, a massive humanoid creature covered in hair all over its body suddenly ran straight through the camp, toppling over several tents, and began tearing apart the equipment and supplies of the travelling men. Fearing for their lives, the men grabbed their weapons and fired at the creature, causing the giant to retaliate by overpowering the men, and defeating five members of the party, tossing their limp bodies several feet as if they weighed next to nothing. The remaining four members continued firing at the creature, sending several rounds of bullets through its chest, before the creature fell down in a low grumble and passed away shortly after. After closer examination of the giant's body, the men estimated the humanoid creature to have been slightly over 13 feet in height and appeared to look exactly like a man with the exception of its tremendous size and full body covering of hair. However, while observing the body, the men continued to hear the sound of screaming in the surrounding woods, similar to what the two hunters had experienced on their journey several days prior. Believing that the screaming could be coming from a dozen more of the giant creatures, the men packed up their equipment and began moving out of the swamp during the night, unable to wait until morning out of fear that a retaliatory attack would take place if they continued to stay. Once the four men returned to the nearest town, they told the townspeople what happened to the five other men who were attacked, and that they estimated that a dozen more of the giant creatures were still out there in the nearby swamps. Fearing that an attack would eventually reach the town, the men began travelling throughout the area and warning people of an impending attack from giants. On the 1st of January, 1829, a local reporter would interview the men and retell their story for local publishing. By February of that year, less than 30 days after the original publication, reprinting of the story spread to neighbouring communities and would see a February issue published in the Connecticut newspaper, warning travelling parties to stay clear of the Okafenoki Swamp. Although continued sightings would be made of the giant humanoid creatures in the surrounding areas, later referred to as skunk apes, no violent attack was made over the following years. After a few decades, the sensationalism of the story eventually settled down and became nothing more than a local legend. To this day, travellers are still warned of the Okafenoki swamp giants when travelling through the region. So, what do you make of these mysterious sightings and encounters? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.